But we begin with CBS 2's Jasmine Veal, who's live in San Bernardino, where there's a lot of damage to clean up. Jas? Yeah, and Sharon, it is sticky and muggy right now. I just felt a few raindrops as well. And take a look at the dark clouds overhead. This could be a double blow to this homeowner who just bought the house in February. And look at this. This tree fell over during yesterday's storms, and now we're bracing for another round. This is the tree right here. This is where it came through and all the drywall fell on top of the bed. The bed is usually right here. Timothy and Aya's wife and daughter had been here in their bedroom when this large tree came crashing through their roof in San Bernardino. All of a sudden, I just feel the whole house shake and my wife and kids start screaming. So I went running in the room to check on them and I see the, uh, the tree. The broken ceiling barely missed hitting them. The tree was toppled by yesterday's powerful storms. People across the IE recorded the sudden explosion of wind and rain that whipped through trees and flooded streets. Just going for a run this morning, there are trees down pretty much everywhere. In Corona, limbs fell on fences and whole trees were uprooted, including this one in Rich Strong's backyard. Seeing videos that friends had shown me, it was amazing. You know, just the rivers and you know, big, huge garbage cans just being, you know, rushed down the roads into cars. Like in this video taken on Temescal Canyon Road, showing those trash cans floating down the street. In Redlands, lightning lit up the sky. And as storm clouds gathered again this morning, it made people like Sharon Verdugo nervous. We're scared. So my husband said, I'll probably come home from work early. <laughs> Because, as these people will tell you, it was no small summer storm. I've never seen anything like this. And he even told me he meant to remove this tree, but just hadn't gotten around to it. Again, people are being warned about that potential for more flash flooding and, of course, power outages.